Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new Pokemon trading card game video and what we have today is a Mega Tyranitar EX deck just a very very powerful and very difficult Pokemon to deal with once it does ultimately get going it's standing at a bulky 240 HP has a very impressive attack which allows us to hit for up to uh, 110 damage initially when our opponent's active Pokemon has no damage counters on it but for each damage counter our destroyer king attack will allow us to hit for 60 more damage um, so that is a lot of damage it starts to add up very very quickly so it's by no means uh, unusual for us to be able to hit for up to 500 damage for example possibly even up to a thousand damage a thousand five hundred you name it mega tyranitar ex has the potential to go there so the destroyer king attack is absolutely very very impressive um now the downside is that mega tyranitar ex's attack is very energetically expensive so um it does take us a little bit of setup to ultimately get it going we have uh four energy cards as well um that force us well i mean there are four energy cards as well that are required for us to be able to successfully retreat. We unfortunately no longer have the Darkrai EX um, in the standard format. I mean, the official in-game rotation hasn't happened yet, but we're going to go with the uh, assumption that the standard rotation has already occurred. So that, that is a little bit unfortunate. That retreat cost is definitely going to bite us back in the rear. And uh, yeah, so that is that is unfortunate. But uh, I also do want to mention that the Mega Tyranitar X has a very cool ancient traits ability it has the theta double ability which allows us to attach up to two pokemon tool cards on that mega tyranitar ex so one of them is usually going to be a tyranitar spirit link and then the other one we have a little bit of flexibility so uh the different tool type cards that i decided to run in our deck guys one of them is going to be the exp share um so this is again just uh Going with the fact that Mega Tyranitar EX is very energetically expensive, the EXP share could make life a little bit easier for us, just allows to streamline attacker after attacker. So I decided to run a single copy of that. I'm hoping that I don't regret it, but so far it's been pretty helpful. So uh, we are sticking with a single copy of that. And then our second tool type card is going to be the Hard Charm, which will reduce the total damage output of each of our opponent's Pokemon by 20 additional damage. So uh, that's just going to make life a lot more difficult for them with respects to knocking out that Mega Tyranitar EX. Uh, now, we're also running three copies of the Tyranitar EX, but it's just such an awful Pokemon that I will not be discussing it whatsoever. It has two relatively weak attacks, um, so yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know about the Tyranitar EX. We have some alternative attackers as well. Uh, one of our main alternative attackers is the Evil Tool EX. We're only running a single copy of it, but... Uh, keep in mind that the Mega Tyranitar EX would have a very, very difficult time against the Giratina EX um, because it is absolutely immune to those Mega Pokemon. So, uh, Evil Tool EX is our main counter to it. Now, why is it such an effective counter? Well, that's because the um, Giratina EX requires a total of 5 energy cards to be able to attack. So, that Evil Tool EX through the usage of its Evil Ball attack is pretty much almost always going to perform a one-hit knockout on the opponent's Giratina EX, so definitely a very nice Pokemon to include. We are running a single copy of him in our deck. Now, in case Evil Tool EX was not really enough, or in case it happens to be prized, we have an alternative card we can go to as well. It is the Hex Maniac Support card. So until the end of our opponent's next turn, each Pokemon in play in each player's hand and in each player's discard pile has absolutely no ability. So this is essentially a Garbodor for the turn. Uh, again, can definitely be useful, especially if we are facing a Safeguard deck. The Beautifly as well, which can give us a very difficult time. And of course, that Giratina EX. So we are running a single copy of the Hex Maniac Supporter card in our deck. Again, I feel like it is very useful, uh, so we will be sticking with a single copy of that. Again, uh, going with the assumption that it is XY and on, we're running some relatively unusual supporter cards. So we are running a total of two copies of the Ace Trainer. In a sense, it's kind of like N, but we have to be losing the game to be able to play it. Uh, when we do so, we're able to draw onto six cards, and then the opponent has to draw onto three cards, of course, after shuffling our decks and whatnot. So uh, Ace Trainer can definitely be useful, but again, it can only be um, useful in certain situations, uh, especially the ones where we happen to be losing the game. Uh, we're running a total of three copies of the Professor Birch's Observation. Don't really need to discuss this card. We've already discussed it many times before. Four copies of the Seekamore. We're also running a single copy of the Tierra. 
Tierno, which allows us to draw onto three additional cards. I feel like it's kind of nice. I mean, we unfortunately no longer have access to that Colrus, so Tierno is somewhat going to take its place. Uh, it can be useful, especially if we have a pretty good hand and we just want to draw onto some additional cards, as opposed to shuffling our hand back into that deck and then drawing onto some new cards, or especially if we don't want to use a Sycamore and get rid of that entire hand. So we are running a single copy of that Tierno in our deck. Um, discussing some remaining attackers in our deck, guys. The Evil Toll, we're going to be using it mainly for that Oblivion Wing Acceleration, which will allow us to attach a uh, Darkness Energy card from our discard pile onto one of our bench Pokemon, so that Evil Toll is absolutely going to help that Tyranitar EX, and that Mega Tyranitar EX a great ex to a great extent. Uh, we have the Darkness Blade attack as well, which allows us to hit for 100 damage. Uh, depending on the situation, we may see us make use of that attack from time to time, mainly if we're facing some sort of safeguard deck or some sort of deck that has immunity to that Mega Tyranitar EX's attacks. Uh, some other Pokemon that we are running as well, guys. We are running a total of two copies of the Absol. It has the Cursed Eyes ability. This is to give us a little bit of uh, damage counter manipulation. Uh, so if we have badly damaged one of our opponent's Pokemon, for example, and we want to spread some of those damage counters onto one of the opponent's bench Pokemon as well, Absol is there to make life a lot easier for us and then ultimately allow that Mega Tyranitar EX to get those big one-hit knockouts. So Cursed Eyes allows us to move three damage counters from one of our opponent's Pokemon to another one of their Pokemon. So Absol is definitely a nice card to include. We are running two copies of that in our deck. Now, discussing our energy, guys, we are running a total of nine uh, relatively standard energies that you guys are quite familiar with. So six of them are Darkness Energies, three of them are the Double Colors Energy, and then four of them are the Dark... Uh, sorry, the Dangerous Energy. I keep uh, mispronouncing it just because I'm so used to seeing it as the bad energy. Anyways, this card can only be attached to a Darkness Pokemon. Our deck is entirely composed of Darkness Pokemon, so that is not going to be an issue. Uh, whenever the Darkness Pokemon that this card is attached to happens to be our active Pokemon, so keep that in mind, and is damaged by an attack from the opponent's EX Pokemon, uh, definitely a keyword there, so this is not unfortunately going to work on any non-EX uh, attackers that our opponents may be running, but... Um, should be too troublesome. Anyways, uh, whenever an opponent's EX Pokemon does attack us and we have the Dangerous Energy latched on to one of our Darkness Pokemon, we're able to put two damage counters on the attacking Pokemon EX. So uh, Dangerous Energy is going to be the main route at which we are going to stack those damage counters on the opponent's Pokemon and then ultimately allow that Mega Tyranitar EX to get those big one-hit knockouts. So Dangerous Energy is very important to this deck. We are running a total of four copies of it. Uh, we're going to be running a total of two copies of the Battle Compressor as well, guys. This will allow us to get those Darkness Energies into our discard pile and then that Evil Toll can ultimately retreat it using that Oblivion Wing attack or alternatively we can also make use of the Mega Turbo to attach a basic energy card from our discard pile to one of our Mega Evolution Pokemon. So both are uh, two nice routes that we could ultimately take. Uh, we're running a single copy of the escape rope and the switch again because we no longer have that Dark Ride EX, so we definitely had to make a little bit of room in our deck for those cards. And I feel like those are the main cards that really needed heavy discussing, so we're running a total of four copies of the Ultra Ball to allow us to grab the Pokemon that we need, 3VS Seekers to reuse any of our supporter cards, two Lysanders to lure out any of the opponent's bench Pokemon, three Shadow Circles will give our Darkness type Pokemon um, immunity, well, it will uh, get rid of their weaknesses, so that's kind of nice, especially if we are facing a fighting or lightning type deck, which happen to be our uh, respective weaknesses. The XP share, which will allow us to get a little bit of energy acceleration going on, especially when one of our Pokemon do get knocked out, Hard Charm, that insulation. The Tyranitar Spirit Link, which of course doesn't need uh, discussing because we are running it to be able to evolve that Tyranitar EX into that Mega Tyranitar EX without us having to sacrifice a turn. Alright, so with that case, let's go and find ourselves some opponent and see what this deck is really capable of. Um, definitely where we're going to see the most out of that Mega Tyranitar EX, and I have no idea why I'm just getting those points right now. Oh, actually, sorry, it was uh, because I was editing the deck right after a battle, so I guess that makes sense. Um, so I will be finding ourselves an opponent, and uh, just showing you guys the potential destructiveness that we will be seeing from that Mega Tyranitar EX. Alright, looks like we found ourselves an opponent right away, uh, running several different types, and uh, looks like we're going to be having the advantage this time around. Alright, the opponent it's going to flip the tails, and that will allow us to choose who wants to start first. Of course, we're going to go with ourselves. We'll be starting off with the Tyranitar EX as our active Pokemon. I think I'm probably going to be making use of DC. Well, actually, I do have the Mega Tyranitar EX in our hand. 
Um, so I may actually hold off on the Seekamore temporarily. So let's go and attach a double colorless energy onto that Tyranitar EX. And then we're going to have to go and end the turn. Uh, should be able to bring out that Mega Tyranitar EX during our next turn. And what's really nice about that is that I should uh, be able to attach, uh, hopefully, hopefully two Heart Charms onto that Mega Tyranitar EX because we won't have to uh, attach the Tyranitar Spirit Link onto that Tyranitar EX. So uh, that could definitely work out in our favor as well. We're seeing the Kyurum with the Double Colors Energy getting attached to it right away. It has the Outrage Attack, which um, is more and more powerful. Um, with the more damage counters that we see on that Kyurum. We're also seeing the Glaciate attack which will allow the opponent to essentially uh, target each of our bench Pokemon. We're going to be seeing the Wally, so the opponent is going to bring out a Shellgun right away. So definitely an interesting deck that we are seeing. Uh, not really sure how the interaction between the Salamence and the Kyurum is exactly going to go, but I'm definitely interested in sticking around and finding out. So I will probably... Uh, eventually be making use of that Seekamore, but for now at least I will be holding off on that. So let's go and bring out the Mega Tyranitar EX. Still needs two energy cards to be able to attack, but uh, hopefully I can get a Darkness energy card into our discard pile and then uh, Turbo, sorry, Mega Turbo it out. That would definitely be quite nice, but um, again, I'm not really going to hold my breath because that's just a potential possibility. We're also going to be seeing the uh, Oshawott coming onto the opponent's bench. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Looks like our opponent's deck is mainly composed of those water type Pokemon, but we're not really seeing any uh, EX Pokemon just yet. So now we're finally going to get that Tyranitar Spirit Link, but at this point that's kind of useless. So I'm going to go and make use of that Ultra Ball to get rid of the Absol and the, um, sorry, the uh, Professor Birch's Observation. Let's go and bring out an additional Tyranitar EX. Uh, I will at least be attaching the Spirit Link onto one of our benched Tyranitar EXs. Let's go and use that Seekamore to get some new cards in our hand. We have the EXP share, but uh, unfortunately, we have this uh, Mega Tyranitar EX as our active Pokemon already. Let's go and attach the Bad Energy onto it. And unfortunately, that's how we're going to have to end the turn. I think I'd like to make use of that tier now, as opposed to shuffling our hand back into our deck. Because, I mean, if I can bring out an additional Mega Tyranitar EX, I will absolutely be attaching the EXP share onto it as well. Uh, unfortunately, though, EXP share does have the limitation that it can only move a basic energy card that was attached to, the, uh, to our active Pokemon, which happened uh, to have lost its life. So it won't really work with any of the energy cards that we have attached just yet. But I do have a Darkness energy card in our hand, so I will absolutely be attaching that to that Mega Tyranitar EX. So uh, just waiting to see what our opponent decides to do. They are taking a little bit of time uh, just weighing their options, I assume. And we're going to be seeing an additional energy card getting latched on to that Ashwat. And now we'll finally be able to start attacking. So unfortunately, that Shellgun does not have enough uh, HP to survive an attack from that Mega Tyranitar EX. Let's go and use that Tierno to get some new cards in our hand. And we do have the Ultra Ball, so that is quite nice. Let's go and use it. I don't really think we're going to need the Shadow Circle, so we'll be sending that in our discard pile to look for the Mega Tyranitar EX. Let's go and bring it out, attach the EXP share to it, uh, lay down an Evil Toll on our bench as well, use the Destroyer King attack, hitting for a measly 100 damage. Again, uh, it's definitely more than enough to take care of most non-EX Pokemon, which we will be encountering. So I don't really see it as being all that problematic. Just maybe that Kyurum could give us a little bit of a difficult time, but definitely can't hit that Mega Tyranitar EX for nearly enough damage to be able to uh, pose a significant threat to us, I would say. So uh, with the Outrage attack, I can currently only hit that Mega Tyranitar EX for 20 damage. So that is definitely not a lot by any means. I'm going to go and attach the Double Colors Energy onto our benched Mega Tyranitar EX. I do have the Lysander, so I could knock out that Oshawott before our opponent decides to evolve. Um, not really sure. I think I'm actually going to go for another Sycamore, guys. Let's go and get rid of our hand and hope that we get something better this time around. Uh, again, we ha don't have any of our... Um, sorry, any of our tool type cards just yet, so no hard charms, unfortunately. I'm going to have to go and use that Destroyer King attack, hitting that Kyurum for 110 damage, and our next attack is just going to be absolutely incredible. Um, so 660 plus 110, so that's going to be 770 damage that we will be seeing that Mega Tyranitar EX hitting our opponent during our next turn. So that is definitely very, very impressive. I'm going to go and attach a Darkness Energy card onto that Evil Toll, and then let's go and use Destroyer King. So there we have it, guys, 770 
170 damage. Definitely much, much more in the, much, much more damage counters uh, necessary to knock out any single Pokemon that we will be encountering in the game. So that's definitely the definition of overkill right there. Um, performed by the Mega Tyranitar EX. So we're seeing the Scraggy and the Ashwood both on the opponent's bench. I'm sure the opponent has to be uh, completely dumbfounded just seeing an attack that powerful. And unfortunately, they're speaking Spanish, so I have absolutely no idea what they are saying. But I know a lot of you guys, my viewers, um, sorry if I'm sorry if that was racist or anything like that, because I'm, I'm not entirely sure if that was in Spanish. But I'm going to go and find ourselves an additional opponent, guys, and hopefully we can see this deck a little bit more in action. But I think that what they said was probably not all that nice because they went right ahead and conceded the game after saying that to me. So, um, not really sure. And uh, let's see what type of deck we're going to be facing this time around, guys. Okay, it looks like it's going to be a Psychic and Normal type deck. Um, again, that Mega Tyranitar EX just hitting for impressive amounts of damage. Um, that Wailord EX would definitely not stand a chance against it. So, I think those Wailord EX decks are definitely going to... Uh, tie down in popularity for the most part. Alright, looks like we're going to be able to start off with an Evil Toll EX. I'll definitely be attaching the double colorless energy to it because ideally if those uh, darkness energy cards aren't attached onto any of our Pokemon, I think it's better that we send them into our discard pile and then we retreat them and uh, essentially use them to power up that Mega Tyranitar EX for us to ultimately be able to attack with it. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be facing a Rayquaza EX deck with an Esper and a Venipede, so that's definitely kind of unusual. Let's Let's go and start off by attaching the double colors energy onto that evil toll EX. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with the Seekamore guys. Uh, I mean, we are running three Mega Tyranitar EXs in our deck, so there's a pretty good likelihood that we still have at least one more Mega Tyranitar EX in our deck, even if one happens to be prized. Let's go and attach the Spirit Link onto that Mega Tyranitar EX, and unfortunately, that's how we're going to have to end the turn. Um, that requires a EX. Looks like we're gonna see the Enhanced Hammer getting rid of that double colorless energy and uh, hitting us for 60 damage as well so our opponent is definitely putting the pressure on nice and early let's go and attach the uh, sorry the dangerous energy i was almost about to call it a bad energy once again at least that's going to stack some damage counters onto the opponent's rayquaza ex i'm going to go and make use of the professor birch's observations flippy tails again there just seems to be a very low success rate whenever i make use of the professor birch's observations for whatever reason and unfortunately, guys, that's going to have to be how we end our turn. Definitely not a great start for us right now, but it's still quite early in the game. And that, uh, oh, okay, so it looks like we may just be seeing a Mega Rayquaza EX. No, okay, it looks like your opponent is instead going to bring out the Meowstic. The Ear Influence attack can be pretty deadly if our opponent uh, badly damages one of our Pokemon and then decides to shuffle around those uh, damage counters. Let's go and bring out an additional Evil Toll onto our bench. I'd love to have made use of that EXP share, but unfortunately, this is a special energy, so EXP share would not work with it. So I'm going to have to go and end the turn, guys. Um, unfortunately, we're probably going to be seeing that Evil Toll EX losing its life this time around. Our opponent hitting us for 60 damage once again. I'm going to go and temporarily bring out an Evil Toll for the time being. Our opponent has just drawn onto two of their prize cards, so we may actually be seeing that Ace Trainer. Again, I'm not getting anything useful whatsoever right now. Uh, that Mega Tyranitar EX is in our discard pile. would have loved to have it on our bench instead and then start making use of that Mega Turbo and whatnot. Okay, so let's go and attach that EXP share on to that Evil Toll. I'm going to have to go and make use of that Seekamore to get some new cards in our hand. And uh, I think I'm actually going to go and switch in to our benched Evil Toll. So let's go and bring him out. Um, and I'm going to go and use that Ultra Ball. Get rid of that Shadow Circle and a Darkness Energy card as well. To bring out finally one of our Mega Tyranitar EXs. Which we should hopefully be able to finally start attacking with. So let's go and bring out that Mega Tyranitar EX. Attach a bad energy onto that Evil Toll. Let's go and use Oblivion Wing. Hitting that uh, Rayquaza EX for 30 damage. And then attaching a Darkness Energy card from our discard pile onto that Mega Tyranitar EX. I mean if our opponent was smart... Um, what he could do is if he stacks enough damage counters on our active evil tool and on our bench... Well, actually, I don't think he can because, I mean, Mega Tyranitar EX is sitting at a bulky 240, so I don't really think he can take care of that... Uh, sorry, take advantage of that Meowstic to inflict us with enough damage. So that's a bit unfortunate on our opponents. And um, I'm going to go and attach a dark... Uh, sorry, a bad energy onto that Mega Tyranitar EX. Let's go and use that Oblivion Wing, hitting that Rayquaza EX for 30 damage once again. Uh, those bad energies are definitely really, really nice. I mean, half of the work um, on that Mega Rayquaza EX is being done for us by those bad energies. So that Mega Rayquaza EX only has 50 HP remaining. 
Uh, so we should definitely be able to knock it out during our next turn. We may actually just be seeing that meow stick. Okay, looks like we're not going to be seeing it uh, come in just yet. So I'm, I'm actually going to go and bring out that Mega Tyranitar EX. And uh, let's see how much damage we're going to be able to hit our opponent's Rayquaza EX for this time around. Let's go and attach the Darkness Energy card to it. Um, do I have anything useful in our discard pile? I do have the Lysander, but uh, I don't think it's... All that great of a card to make use of just yet. So let's go and use Destroyer King. 950 damage. My goodness, guys. We've almost hit uh, four digits. Which I actually have not done uh, at least as far as I can recall. I don't think I've hit for that much amount of damage. So that Mega Mega Tyranitar X, my goodness, just hitting for a ludicrous amount of damage. Uh, the opponent may make use of that Ear Influence or potentially the Psychic Attack as well. I mean, both would be able to hit that Mega Tyranitar X for 100 damage. It looks like the opponent is going to use that Hypnotoxic Laser and get the heads on us. Uh, just knowing my luck with the Hypnotoxic Lasers, I'm going to guess we're going to flip a Tails. Okay, looks like I was wrong. We're actually going to go and wake right up. Alright, so we do have a Mega Turbo, but uh, not exactly all that great of a card, to be honest, right now. Let's go and use that Tierno to get some new cards in our hand. I do have the Absol, but no damage counters on any of our opponent's Pokemon. So there's no point. Plus, we'll be able to knock out that Meow Stick in a single attack. So again, no real point to it. I'm going to go and attach a Darkness Energy onto that Evil Toll for the time being. Let's go and use Destroyer King this time around for a mere 110 damage. Nor near as impressive as that 950 damage we hit our opponent for earlier. But uh, Mega Tyranitar EX, I am loving it right now. A very, very bulky Pokemon. Again, incredibly difficult to take care of once we have ultimately got it going. So it looks like we're going to be seeing the opponent make use of that Skarmory's Call for Family attack. And that's going to let our opponent look for two bench Pokemon. Alright, looks like it's going to be a Deoxys and a Duskull. That Duskull could potentially uh, manipulate those energy counters, uh, sorry, those damage counters. So that could be a bit of a troubling Pokemon for us to deal with. Um... Not really sure what I'd like to use. I mean, I could lure out that Whirlipede. It has 100 damage, uh, sorry, 100 HP, but our opponent's Skarmory has uh, the Psychic Energy card attached to it. So I think for now, guys, I'm gonna go and attach the uh, Double Colors Energy onto our Evil Toe. We could potentially use it for its Darkness Blade attack. Let's go and use Destroyer King one more time. 110 damage, and only two prize cards for us. Uh, remaining for us to really be able to win. Our opponent actually got quite close as well. I mean, they snatched up those prize cards really nice and early, but once we ultimately brought out that Mega Tyranitar EX, I mean, the flow of the game absolutely changed for the most part. Looks like we're going to be seeing a Wally, uh, so we're probably going to be seeing that Whirlipede evolving into the Scallopede, if I'm recalling its name correctly. Possibly may even be seeing the... Um, Dust Skull as well, in case the opponent does want to manipulate those damage counters. Okay, it looks like we're going to be, sorry, the Dust Clops, and then ultimately into the Dust Skull, if the opponent evolves that Dust, uh, dust Clops again. Now, I am scared that we might see those, uh, uh, sorry, that uh, Dust Skull make its appearance, so I think I'm going to go and Lysander out the opponent's Dust Clops, so let's go and bring it out. I'm going to go and bring out an Absol onto our bench as well, just in case somehow our opponent... Uh, Manages to knock out that Mega Tyranitar EX. So let's go and attach the Double Colors Energy onto that Absol, and then let's go and use Destroyer King for 100, sorry, 220 damage due to that weakness, and that will allow us to take one more prize card. So we should, we should absolutely be able to win during this game, guys, unless our opponent is able to... Okay, it looks like we're going to be seeing the Deoxys instead, which has exactly 110 HP. So that should definitely allow us to snatch up our very last prize card, unless we see a Lysander or something. So we are seeing a Tierno, um, and yeah, it looks like that is going to be game, guys. So uh, thank you guys very much for watching. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And also be sure to check out those annotation links and those little card links as well, in case you would like to watch a random video or my previous video. And yeah, that is going to be it. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.